Shortly after the 2019 general election, Governor Abdullahi Ganduje drops a hint about reforming the state traditional institutions, and subsequently, the Kano Emir's Appointment and Deposition Act was passed into law by the State Assembly. Emir Asanusi challenged the law in court, and it was later amended to Kano Emirate Council Bill 2019, which gives the governor power to appoint and remove any Emir on the ground of insubordination. The governor, in consultation with the Emirate Council, may depose any Emma in the following circumstances. One, the deposition is required in accordance with the tradition or is necessary for the preservation of custom and tradition or peace, order and good governance. These and several other charges related to corruption ended the reign of Muhammad Isanusi II as the 14th Emir of Kanu. <laughs> Meanwhile, a rowdy session was also recorded at the State Assembly prior to the removal of the Emir, with some lawmakers against the move, while others are in support. <laughs> Less than three hours after the removal of Senusi, the Emir of Bichi, al Haja Amina Adu Bayeru, one of the sons of the Senusi's predecessor, al Haji Adu Bayeru, was appointed as the new Emir of Kanu. I have been directed by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, OFR, based on the powers conferred on him to announce the appointment of al Haji Amina Adu Bayeru, the former Emir of Bichi Emirate, as the new Emir of Kano State, uh, of Kano Emirate. Security operatives sealed the Emir's palace and used tear gas to disperse protesters who were either in support of the Emir's removal or against it. Prior to the appointment, al Haja Amina Adu Bayeru was the Emir of Bichi, one of the four newly created Emirates. It is expected that the new Emir will resume at the palace soon, even as Muhammad Sanusi has been sent into exile in accordance with the tradition.